Um, good morning. Um, on the last video, I talked to you about joining the plates, and my plates are now joined, uh, and I've cut out the profile of the guitar. This is the side that's going to show, and as you can see, of course you can't really see that well, uh, but uh, it, I got a good joint there. I'm, I'm really happy with this joint, um, and I've taken the liberty of going ahead and cutting out the guitar using the bandsaw, and uh, we'll go talk about now bracing the back. Um, first of all, we'll talk about this. The, I, I install the center strip down the back first. Now I make my own uh, of these center strips and um, it is it is end grain material like this. I, uh, I'm, I'm fortunate enough this piece right here is not wide enough but, and I don't have any of this that I that I to, right now to show you that I would make this out of but it's got to be wide enough you know to make this length and that is about an eighth of an inch thick and I take it on the uh, on my belt sander and I bevel the edges and of course that gets sanded after it's installed on the guitar this is three quarters of an inch wide so um, and I have been lucky enough that uh, my, my friend Mario sent me <clears throat> some iron spike brace wood and <laughs> it looks like pressure treated wood once it's once the braces are cut out and sanded but uh, this being a, 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 a iron spike or green spike build I thought I would just use iron spike bracing too so um, if you have the plan or whatever you know you, you I make uh, templates for my back braces and my top braces. These are dreadnought back braces right here. I have what number brace it is and how wide um, the braces are. These are my uh, OM double lock braces, and of course you just uh, you know get you a piece of brace wood that's that's cut out. Um, and this would be this brace right here. Trace around it, cut it, cut it out. And I know sometimes I'm going to be stating the obvious, but you know some people may not know. You want to make sure that the grain in this is not running this way. That the grain is running perpendicular to the back of the guitar. In in other words, this 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 brace right here, the grain is vertical. So that that gives you a lot more. It gives you strength. If you run it the other way, the back will just cave in. So, um, <clears throat> but I've already gone ahead in the interest of, of speed and laid out my braces, uh, cut them out, uh, sanded them, and I sort of uh, uh, pre-shape these uh, to a. Uh, I put a little bit of a uh, a bevel on that top and uh, uh, you know of course once it's on the back it's going to be carved and shaped and um, but but that just eliminates a lot of uh, work later on you know it's easier to work with it when it's not glued to the back of the guitar um, from the plan I have this template that I bought uh, and this template that I made because it's clear you can see through it it's got my bracing pattern on there, and it's got marks on one side for the location of the back braces. I, I locate this on here, and I take a pencil and I mark the, the braces on one side, flipping it over, and marking the location on the other side. Now, you can put marks on both sides, but I just prefer to flip it over. That way I know that my braces are exactly at a right angle to the center of the guitar. So that's how I locate these. Then what I do is I take a straight edge and I will connect that to that, that, that front line over there to this front line, and I will give myself a little mark right on the center. 
just like so. And I will take my brace. This brace is that brace. And I will mark both sides right through here so that I, so that I get a location of each brace in the center of the guitar. Like so. It's, you know, so, so that I get a location of each brace right down the center. The center strip is three quarters of an inch wide. So, I come from my center seam, where I join these, and I come over three-eighths of an inch on each end, lay my straight edge on there like so, and put me a piece of tape right along that edge, so that when I go to glue these on here, I use a go bar deck to glue them down, that they will push down and they will slide over and hit that tape and they will stop. Not only does that put it in the proper location, in and out, but it also ensures that when I'm done, I have a good straight line. That these are, y'all don't look down those and it doesn't look like uh, Route 119 out the road here. So, um, that's how I do that. And uh, these pieces here, I've, I've marked the location, I've marked the neck, location of the neck block. This piece, will go extend beyond the neck block but stop right in the center of where that brace is. The next one stops right in the center of where that brace goes. The next one stops right in the center of that one. The next one stops in the center of that one. The next one stops in the center of that one. So that once this is glued, then I can take this and I can join that right there, join that right there, and I'll just scribe that on both sides and I will take a razor blade and where this is cross grain like so it cuts out really really easily and you can get a really nice tight fit now I have seen a lot of people uh, that they, they buy this in really long strips I've, I've always just made my own I make my own curved lining uh, so uh, this is just the way I chose to learn to do it and uh, like again you know like I guess I'll say it you probably get tired of hearing me say it you can do it however you want, uh, but this is how I do it. Now, uh, I will take this over to the Go Bar deck, and I will uh, do a short demonstration on how to uh, how I how I put these on there, and then uh, there'll be another video of of actually bracing. So. Uh, I'm trying to think if there's anything else I need to, to, to tell you about this aspect of, of guitar building, but nothing's coming to mind. So, um, thank you, and uh, uh, on to the next step. <laughs>